Hello friends, I hope you guys are well. As you know, fall is my absolute favorite time of year. But with fall, we have back to school. We live in that fall sports life where we have practice four nights a week. We have homework, we have all the things going on. So I no longer have an hour to an hour and a half to make dinner every single night. So I thought for today's video, I would share with you guys our family's favorite cozy fall crockpot recipes because the crockpot has truly been a lifesaver for us. We have 30 minutes from the time our kids get off the bus to when we have to usually leave for sports practices. So if your life is crazy like ours right now, or if you're just looking for some cozy fall recipes to try for your family, they're easy, they're healthy, they're kid friendly, stick with me, let's get started. All right, so really quick, here's how I'm gonna set up this video. I'm gonna bring you along for the next couple of weeks while I make five of our family favorite cozy crock pot recipes that all three of my kids will eat. What I'm gonna do to try to save time because nobody's got extra time right now. I'm gonna share with you any recipe swaps that I do. I will show you the basic steps of what I do to get it set up. And then if there's anything that I add or anything extra that I do to make it more kid friendly, I will let you know that. I will have all the recipes in the video description box for you that you can click on and I'll type up anything extra that I do also in the video description box. I'm gonna show you what it looks like afterwards because I think that's really important and I'll keep it simple and as quick as possible to give you some ideas for your own home and your own families. If you find this video helpful and you're new, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and stick around. Let's start with the first recipe for tonight. Let me get all the ingredients out and I'll show you what we're gonna make. Okay, tonight's dinner is gonna be a simple chicken pot pie. You're gonna need two potatoes, one onion, some chicken breasts, anywhere between two and three should be fine. Some mixed vegetables, frozen mixed vegetables, some poultry seasoning, a can of cream of chicken soup. Recipe will call for whole milk, we get 2%, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then these will come into play later, but just any type of refrigerated canned biscuits. All right, let's get this started. Once you get your vegetables ready to go, it really becomes just a dump and go crock pot recipe. I don't cut my chicken ahead of time. I feel like it sometimes dries out the chicken because I leave my crock pot recipes in all day long while I'm getting things done until it is truly time for dinner. So I like to leave it and then you'll see later on, I'm just gonna use my meat chopper and I'll just shred the chicken because it's so tender by the end of the day that it really isn't a big deal. You can certainly cut up your chicken ahead of time if you have less time for it to cook or whatever your preference is. That's just how I like to do it. And then once I get all my vegetables layered in there, I'm gonna make my creamy mixture that I'm gonna put on top and then I'm just gonna give everything a quick little stir and then put the lid on and forget it for the rest of the day until it's dinner time. Kids are gonna be home soon from school, so the last thing we have to do to get the dinner ready is to take our biscuits. We're gonna cook them in the oven all the way. While they're cooking, I'm gonna take the chicken and just shred it right in the crock pot. Then once the biscuits are done, we're gonna place them on top. Oh, it is so good. You scoop out the dinner, everybody gets a biscuit on top, and then just that first bite with the flaky biscuit and then the warm crock pot meal underneath. I'm telling you guys, this dinner is just one of the best. All right, let's make our biscuits.
gonna let these cool down for a few minutes and then I'm actually gonna split them in half. The top halves are gonna go in the crock pot and then the bottom half, I put in the bottom of the bowl, I fill it with the chicken pot pie and then put the top half on top. So good, I can't wait to eat this. dinner ever. Tonight's dinner is a chicken pesto pasta. Let me grab all the ingredients and I'll show you what we need. Okay, here's what you're gonna need. A half a cup of salted butter, a half of a lemon. For seasoning, we're just gonna do plain old salt and pepper. I love to do seasoned pepper. I think it just gives a little bit of extra flavor. We've got the pink Himalayan salt, and then whatever you prefer for your pesto sauce. I love the Rayo's brand. All of my kids enjoy this one, so this is what we're gonna use. Some chicken breast. Mine is still a little bit frozen, but I think it's gonna be okay. So we're gonna start out by putting all of that in the crock pot this morning, cook it on low all day, and then tonight, we're gonna pre-cook some pasta. This is a substitution that I do. I think the recipe calls for rotini. I like to do just the bow tie pasta. My kids love it. We're gonna do just some mozzarella and some grated Parmesan. Low ingredient and so tasty. All right, let's get this in the crock pot. Taste test time. Mmm. It's so good. This is what my pasta dreams are made of. You have to try this one. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm.
Tonight's dinner is a hamburger stroganoff crockpot meal. I love these on the nights where I want a home cooked crockpot meal, but I don't have all day for it to cook. This cooks in one hour in the crock pot. I also wanna share with you guys a pumpkin cornbread muffin idea. It's super simple and they are so delicious. They have a little bit of a sweet taste to them and they pair perfectly with a stroganoff meal or with a chili or a stew. Truly anything you put in your crock pot, these muffins go with it. All right, let me grab the ingredients. Okay, here's what we're gonna need for tonight's dinner. I always like to choose a yellow onion so it has a little bit of a sweetness to it. So we're gonna chop this up and we are gonna cook it in the skillet with some ground turkey. The recipe will call for ground beef. This is just a swap that I do just to make it a little bit healthier. You can certainly use ground beef. I think it would actually be good with ground chicken as well. So whatever your family prefers and you're gonna get two pounds of that. Then we're gonna do two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And then we're also gonna be adding a cup of sour cream. Full, and, oh, and I also like, you know, I like to have my protein and my veggie in the dinner for my family. So this is just a big bag of frozen vegetables from Costco. And I'm going to take about a cup of it and just mix that in so we can get the veggies in. And then instead of the egg noodles, I'm using rigatoni because we will have leftovers on this. It makes a nice hefty amount. And I feel like the rigatoni holds up better when we're reheating it for leftovers. So that's for the main dinner portion. And then for the cornbread, which we will make once we get the crock pot meal ready, I just love the Krusty's brand of the honey cornbread. And I just follow the directions on the back, so you're gonna need a couple of ingredients with that. And then I will add an additional can of pumpkin puree, and it is so good. I can't wait to make these. All right, let's get started. So here is how I multitask to make this go as quickly as possible. I'm cooking the onion and the ground turkey, I'm boiling the water and I'm gonna cook the noodles. Then we're gonna add everything to the crock pot and I'm also preheating the oven for the cornbread mix. If this is good for a little bit, once I throw the noodles in, I'll probably start mixing up the cornbread mix, go ahead and get those baked. That way they'll be fully cooled down once dinner is ready to go. It's all about the multitasking. an idea for you guys. If you have a child who is dinner resistant, I have one of those, here's an idea. Distract them and motivate them with some fun plates and some fun bowls. So I'm going to put my child's dinner inside of this ghost on top of this fun Halloween plate. I'll put the muffin on the side. It just makes it more exciting and they'll be more inclined to at least take a couple of bites and try something when you just put like a fun little seasonal motivator in the mix. Good luck.
dinner is gonna be pasta fagioli soup. It is the best comfort soup of the season, in my opinion. Honestly, I make it year round. My kids love this. They call it spaghetti soup. It's not spaghetti soup, but it has, it's an Italian soup, and we put spaghetti sauce in it as a little shortcut to make it easier. And so they associate it with spaghetti. It is just, it's sweet, but it's savory. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I cannot wait to show this, you guys. Let me grab all the ingredients for it, and I'll show you how we pre-cook the meat, throw everything in the crock pot, and it becomes a dump and go situation once you get the meat cooked. Best recipe ever. All right, let's get started. All right, here are all the ingredients that you will need. One onion, you can do yellow, you can do white, whatever you prefer. Some type of ground beef or ground chicken or ground turkey, whatever you prefer. I'm going with lean ground beef today. And then a jar of your favorite spaghetti sauce, any brand. Here's a shortcut I'm gonna take. You could get carrots and chop them. I'm just going to do some pre-chopped carrots to make it a little easier. I get the shredded carrots because then they're even smaller in the soup so my kids will be more likely to eat it. Then we need some cannellini beans, some red kidney beans. You need about four cups of beef broth or beef stock, a can of petite diced tomatoes, and the only seasoning I add to it is garlic salt. So things that I changed from the recipe that I'm gonna link for you, I only do garlic salt for the seasoning. I do not add celery to it. I believe that's the only other swap, but I will have this recipe in the video description box for you and I will note anything I change. We are going to put all of this in the crock pot on low for about four hours. Then about an hour before your family's ready to eat, you're gonna add a cup of the ditalini pasta. And then I also like to cook some bread sticks to go on the side. All right, let's get the meat ready. Tonight's dinner is a sloppy joe casserole. This is the perfect savory and sweet balance in a dinner that I always love. It's so good. All right, let's grab all the ingredients and get started. Okay, here's what you're gonna need for this recipe. I go for an extra lean ground beef. You could do ground turkey, you could do ground chicken if you really wanted to. A full bag of shredded hash brown potatoes. We're gonna need about a cup and a half of sharp cheddar cheese. I go for the reduced fat just to make it a little bit healthier. Here's, here's the choice you have. I like to do the Sloppy Joe seasoning packet with tomato paste. I just really like the flavor of this, but you could also just do a can of Manwich and then that would replace both of those. You need a can of cheddar cheese soup. I go for the heart healthy one. Seasoning, just some salt and pepper, an onion, and one large egg. All right, let's get this ready. The 
recipe is going to tell you to mix all this up in a separate bowl. I am not about the extra dish life, so I cut corners when I can when it comes to dishes. I think it's perfectly fine just to mix it up inside your crock pot. This is going to be the bottom layer of our casserole anyway. So I get all of that mixed up and then I try to kind of evenly spread it at the bottom. And then once we get our sloppy joe meat made, we're just going to spread that on top of this mixture and then let that cook for several hours. And then the final touch is just to add a little bit of cheese on top. It is such a good dinner, you guys. enjoyed this video and that it just gave you some new fun cozy crock pot dinner ideas for those busy weeknights for your family don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye